Hey guys, Jinx here, and today I want to figure out the most efficient way of shunting my favorite Pokemon, Absol. Absol is a rare encounter, so while I was working on my egg hunt, I thought maybe there was another way. You spy dittos, you breed egg, you cramp your head, now your PC looks a mess, and why is it impossible to finish all eggs on charm? Hey, there's got to be a better way. I ran around to all its different spawn locations and collected data from each spot. Before going into the encounter data, I just want to give a quick explanation of two special encounter methods that I used here. These two are egging and repel tricking. Egg shiny hunting is pretty straightforward. You just buy a bunch of the Pokemon you want and a bunch of dittos or matching male egg group Pokemon and breed it with them. The shiny chance is rolled when making the egg and not hatching it, which gives the benefit to egg making because you can mass make them on a shiny charm and then hatch them later on. I have a video explaining this process in detail linked in the corner of your screen or in the description below. Repel tricking uses repels with a specific level Pokemon to skip certain encounters. Repels stop encounters with wild Pokemon that are a lower level than the lead Pokemon in your party. So for example, on Route 13 in Unova, the Dark Grass patch contains Tangela's between level 52 to 54, and also Golbats and Absol's from level 53 to 55. So if you lead your party with a level 55 Pokemon and use a Repel, you'll skip the encounters of anything less than 55. Therefore, we could skip all the Tangela encounters since they don't appear at level 55 or higher. Double encounters alter this a little bit, but we're just going to leave the explanation at the basics for now. There are four methods that I tested for this. Unova Route 13 with a Lure, Unova Route 13 with a Repel Trick, Unova's Giant Chasm with a Lure, and Hoenn's Route 120 with a Lure. I did between two to three hours of data collection for each of these spots and then average the per hour data at each location. Let's start by doing a quick overview of the costs of egg hunting Absol. As I mentioned before, I have a video all about egg hunting that breaks down the average cost. So if you're curious how I got these numbers, check that out. The summary is that it'll take about 500 hours and 87,200,000 Pokien to egg hunt Absol. We'll use those numbers as our comparison point for the following spots. Before we start at any spot, make sure you're using a Swarm, Illuminate, No Guard, or Arena Trap Pokemon at the lead of your party during the hunt at any of these spots in order to increase your encounter rate. Starting with the Route 13 spot, just above Indela Bay, there's a little island with a patch of dark grass. In it, Absol can spawn between levels 53 to 55. Most of the other Pokemon that show up at this location are between 53 and 54, with one exception being Golbat. I tested repel tricking at level 55 and found Absol to be about a 12% encounter rate. I averaged about 250 encounters per hour doing this, so I got about 30 Absols per hour. Doing this also took about 60 max repels per hour. This means on average it'll take about 1000 hours at the base shiny rate of 1 in 30,000 and 60,000 max repels to do this method for Absol. This leaves us with a total cost of 54 million for the repels over the course of 1000 hours. When using donator status, the shiny rate's 1 in 27,000, meaning it would take 900 hours and 54,000 repels for a total cost of 48,600,000 Pokien, not including the cost of donator status. Putting a shiny charm on top of donator status can also improve your odds. However, the cost of these charms would be hundreds of millions to keep up for all these hours, so I wouldn't recommend that. You're likely to get about eight phases while working through this spot as well, and here are the Pokemon that you can get here. That puts a total cost difference between egg hunting and repel tricking at 33,200,000, with a time difference of 500 hours. This means as long as you're making 66,400 per hour, egg hunting is actually the more effective method here. Now let's take a look at luring at the same spot. Doing this, I got an average of 425 encounters per hour, but only 19 were absoles. It also took about 11 lures per hour to hunt here, which cost 1,500 each. So at our base rate of 1 in 30,000, it would take 1,579 hours and 26,052,632 Pokien on average to get a shiny Absol. With Dono, it would take 1,421 hours and 23,447,368 Pokien. If you include charms either linked or on your own on top of Dono, it comes down further again but buying 1,300 hours worth of shiny charms will cost an astronomical amount, so it's not really a realistic comparison. 
This means at the base 1 in 30,000 rate, you'd be spending 61,147,368 Pokian less hunting here, but it would take an additional 1,079 hours to do this instead of eggs. This means you only need to be earning 56,670 Pokian per hour to make it more efficient to egg hunt. You're going to reach an average of 22 phases here, so if you like the other shinies at this location, this could be a method to try out. Hey, maybe you'll get lucky and beat the average. Comparing this to repel tricking at the same spot, you're spending about half as much Pokien by luring, but you're increasing your time by about 500 hours. You only need to be making 48,268 per hour for repel tricking to be more efficient at this rate if all you care about is the Absol. But if the extra phased shinies are interesting to you, you could go with that method here. Make sure to bring a damp Pokemon here because Solrock, Lunatone, and Drifloom all have explosion. Next, let's head up to the dark patch of grass outside Giant Chasm. This is a very interesting spot because it not only does it have Absol, but it also has Metagross, my two favorite shinies in the game. Encountering here, I got about 420 encounters per hour. 420 blaze at 69. With an average of 17 Absols and 15 Metagrosses per hour. However, the overall encounter rate here is lower since I was averaging 25 lures here per hour instead of the 11 like at the previous spot. This means that at base rate, it's going to cost you about 66,176,471 Pokien and take an average of 1,765 hours to get your shiny Absol here. With Dono, it's about 1,588 hours and 59,558,824 Pokien. You'll also average 25 phases here before finding a shiny Absol. This is much more time and expense than the previous spot. You have the Metagross encounter chance. When Metagross is included in, the averages work out to getting either Absol or Metagross at an average of 938 hours and 35,156,250 Pokien on lures. So this may be worth trying out if Metagross is a goal of yours like it is for me. The final spot I tested was Hoenn's Route 120. This is a tall grass spot so I found that I was getting less encounters per hour here due to having to walk instead of biking. I had an average of 320 encounters per hour with an average of 12.5 absoles per hour. This puts it at a whopping 2,400 hours. Since we're walking and the encounter rate per step is relatively high though, it only takes about 10 lures per hour here, so it would cost you approximately 36 million on average to go for 2,400 hours with lures. With Dono, this is cut down to 2,160 hours and 32,400,000 for the lures. While this is an extremely high amount of time compared to the other spots, this is actually a really common spot for people to hunt for due to the other shinies that you can get here. I found about 10 marsh noms per hour, which I think evolves into a really great shiny. If any of these interest you in addition to Absol, this could be a good spot to try out. You'll take an average of 26 phases here before reaching Absol, so I wouldn't recommend coming here unless you really like the other Pokemon here. So there you have it. It seems like eggs are definitely the fastest method, however, there are some much cheaper ways to go about it, especially if other shinies on this list like Metagross, Swampert, Kecleon, or Tropius are interesting to you, or if you don't have the PC space or funds to jump into an egg hunt right away. Let me know if you try any of these spots in the comments below. I'd like to make a series analyzing different rare hunts like this, so if you have a suggestion of a rare that I should check out next, let me know below. Also, if you're curious about the math that I use to calculate all these, check out the spreadsheet that I have in linked in the description below. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.